It's one of those weeks where there's just no good content for an intro, so. Today we are hitting a very fun topic. We're going to be talking about tracking accounts. They're a blast, trust me. Now to start us off on the right foot, what is a tracking account? The first and most important thing that I'll say about tracking accounts is that they're not necessary. A tracking account is simply one where you are only tracking the balance. You're not spending out of this account and the money in this account is not funding your budget. When you start a budget, you need to add your checking account, you need to add your savings account, and you'll want to add your credit cards. But what about the mortgage and my student loans and the car loan? Those all qualify as tracking accounts. Now, how do you know if you wanna add these tracking accounts or not? Well, I have a few questions for you to think about before you dive in and start adding 20 tracking accounts. The first question is, will adding this tracking account change my behavior? My friend Erin just bought a new house within the past year and she's working really hard to pay down this new mortgage because she is motivated. When she sees that number in her budget, it only inspires her to save more, work harder, and pay that mortgage down faster. But what if your mortgage isn't really going anywhere for a while? Maybe you have other priorities and paying your mortgage down faster is not really making the top of the list for you. So you pay the minimum on the mortgage and your money goes to the things you need it to go to first. Seeing that mortgage number in your budget might just burn you out. You think this is hopeless, we're never gonna pay this off. Well, that's not very positive behavior. But if you're getting really close to paying off the car, having that loan as a tracking account in your budget is an awesome idea. You can see how close you're getting and it motivates you to keep paying it down. It stokes the fire, keeps you going. Second question, will adding this tracking account create more work that has limited value? When you add a tracking account, it does require a little work and you need to keep it updated. And if that loan is gonna take a while for you to pay off, you might just be creating more work for yourself that has no real value. If that's the case, pass on the tracking account. Third question to ask yourself, are you one of those I need everything in one place in order to stay sane kind of a person? Because maybe you just like seeing all your balances and all your loans in one place and you don't mind the extra work. In that case, tally ho, brava, carry on, onward ho. <laughs> I don't think I'm getting any of the right phrases here. Shoot for the stars. And last question you can ask yourself, will adding this tracking account take your focus away from your budget? Because the budget should be your main focus, making day-to-day -day decisions about your priorities and what your money needs to do. If all of a sudden you're focused on balances and where your money's being stored, you're losing that critical focus on your budget. And that's kind of why we're here, because you needed a budget, remember? Now, after walking through those four questions, if you feel like tracking accounts will help you be the best budgeter you can be, well then, allow me to teach you. Here we go. Now, of course, before you do any budgeting, you have to actually make this payment in real life. YNAB is not your bank, it is just your record keeping software. So you'll make the payment and then we'll record it in the budget. Here's how we do it. Hop into your budget, you're going to click add account and this will be an unlinked account. Now as for what type of account you're adding, it is a tracking account, whether it is an asset or a liability, that depends on your particular situation. But for our example today, we're going to be adding a car loan to our budget. So I'm gonna select liability. Give it a nickname. And the car loan balance that we are going to be tracking in our budget is $10,000. Click next and success. First thing you may notice is that your car loan doesn't actually sit within the budget, rather it sits separately outside of the budget. That's because there's never gonna be any money within this tracking account that we're gonna integrate into our budget. You're not gonna be paying the electric bill or buying groceries out of this tracking account, so that's why it sits separately. When it comes time to make a payment to that loan account, first you have to budget for it. So if we scroll down here in my budget, you can see I've saved up $300 this month to put toward my auto loan. My checking account has about $800 in it and my car loan has a balance of negative $10,000. It's time to make a payment, so we're gonna make a transfer of $300 from my checking account to my car loan tracking account. Slide into your checking account, you're gonna click add transaction and the payee will be transfer to Dakar. 
Now I'm gonna select my auto loan category and make an outflow of $300 because that's how much I wanna pay today. Now you can see that our checking account dropped from 800 to 500 and our loan also dropped from 10,000 to 9,700. You paid that $300 out of your checking account and you lowered the total of that auto loan. And if we hop back to our budget, you can also see that we budgeted $300 for our auto loan, but we spent that $300 and now there's no money left in our auto loan category. Now that is one successful car payment. Am I right? It is very important that you reconcile your tracking accounts once a month in order to keep up with those interest charges. Let's say I was just charged a $35 interest fee. If I reconcile this account right now, $9,700 is not actually right because that's missing the interest. So let's account for that interest. You're gonna click reconcile in the corner of your tracking account and you're gonna select no. This is not an accurate balance because it's missing our interest fee. And now you're gonna add the correct balance, including that $35 interest fee that we were just charged. Click OK, and your budget's just gonna make sure that you understand there's a $35 difference happening here. We know, we know, it's just interest. Now, if you're gonna be reconciling this account a lot, you might just wanna check this box, skip this explanation in the future, and continue. It's gonna do one last gut check just to make sure you know what's going on, but you're gonna click Create Adjustments and Finish. Account reconciled, and now we can see our balance is accurate. So, there you go. That's all you need to know to track accounts on your own. If this is something you're super excited about that will motivate you to keep that debt in front of your eyes and keep paying it off, then by all means, track away. As always, leave any questions you guys have down below and always let us know what you want to hear about. Happy tracking and we'll see you next week. Today we're going to be talking about tracking accounts. This is one I have not talked about before, so I'm feeling really qualified right now. Can't wait to hopefully not lead anyone astray. <laughs>